Hi there, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we wanted to give you a heads up before our show begins today. Ronnie, we have a new show on the Gallagher Entertainment Network. And um, although they've been doing this show for some time, this will be their first appearance on our entertainment network. Right. So uh, It's going to be huge. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. It's going to blow up. You need to watch this episode until the end. As soon as our show is complete, this other show will begin. And you do not want to miss it. Okay? Stay tuned. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. This is Sunday Morning Mass. Bow your heads. Raise your uh, heads. There. Now we've done confession. Roll your neck. Oh, Stretch it out. I might pull something stretching. <laughs> I don't want to do that. We're glad you're here this morning. Get yourself a cup of coffee. That's what I got going on. And here's how this works. We do this show in lieu of being live, which we're going to talk about as well. Um, and so what we mean is, as you're watching this show, uh, it is 7 o'clock uh, our time on the West Coast and 10 o'clock in the East Coast and all across the country and around the world, for that matter, in different time zones. But we are watching with you and we are commenting, replying, and doing otherwise crazy things uh, while you're watching. So we are here live for you as you're seeing this as witnessed by the fact that you've, if you comment, you're going to get a reply. Almost immediately. Probably from both of us. If not sooner. So, uh, yeah, feel free to do that. Uh, did want to mention right off the bat here that um, we have a PayPal account now. And our listeners suggested that we do this. And so we're not too ashamed of it. Uh, but it's helping us, and let me tell you why. Uh, we set up this pool where you can donate money. And that address is paypal.me, M-E, slash men are so smart. And our goal in this fundraising effort is twofold. One, we truly do wish to go live on YouTube. We want to go live streaming with you. Uh, our listeners, our viewers, they're clamoring for it. Uh, and we hear you. Uh, Ronnie, show them what we got there. This is the purchase that we made with your money this week. Da, da, da. This is called Cam Link. And this is what will allow us to use Ronnie's super duper camera instead of just a, um, a phone. A phone or even a laptop right. camera. Uh, because the quality of that is is, is far more inferior than we're going to deal with. If it's not right, we're not going to do it. So right. we made the first purchase, and we're working on that. We're probably looking at doing Sunday morning mass live, but I'm not ready to commit to that just yet. Uh, we've got to get a little bit more of equipment. And twofold, the second thing, uh, we know that Fenbury is going on. Today is last day. And how was the pancake breakfast? I'm sure they're eating it right now. <laughs> That's delicious. Yeah. Oh, 7 a.m. What I wouldn't give for some pancakes. Uh, thank you if you're watching from Fenbury. Be sure and say hi from uh, Lou and Ronnie to everybody that you meet. Uh, wish we could be there. However, what we are doing with our PayPal account is we are trying to collect some money so that we can go to Santa Fe, New Mexico and spend some time with Mr. Forrest Fenn. Now, this isn't going to be a live interview with Mr. Finn because, in all honesty, he's getting up in years, 88, yep. and uh, he is kind of afraid he might let something s slip. And we don't want to put him in that position. No. Uh, and, and even if he did, if he told us, oh, no, you can't do that, we wouldn't. Right. Uh, in any case, we're going to try to spend a day with him at his ranch in Santa Fe and then report back to you uh, on some of the things we talked about and his answers and et cetera, et cetera. 
uh, and then bring that to you. So we would really appreciate if you would contribute to our pool. $25, $50, $100, even more, $500. Maybe you're in that position where you know, you, you, you don't have kids or, or grandkids or whatever the case may be, and you've got a little bit of extra money, and you'd like to see a couple of guys do something they really want to do, uh, make a contribution. You can do that right now, okay? Now, here's the big news that I wanted to get to. Ronnie has finished the book. There were a lot of big words in there. I know, and I was glad to help you with them. I Googled a few, and then some of them I just, I yeah. had to call Lou. Right, and it's okay. That's what yeah. I'm here for. We're a team. So, Ronnie, I and everyone watching, so interested in what your observations from the book are. So, please, if you will. So, let me just say right off the bat, I didn't think I was going to enjoy the book. Because, be specific. Well, because he's not particularly, you know, he's... He's no Stephen King. Okay. Uh, he's no Hemingway. He's not a writer per se. Uh -huh. He's an antiquities dealer, mm -hmm. if you know. An observer, if you will. He's an observer of life. So, but what I found is that his stories are interesting. Yeah. He he is a storyteller. So I don't think you have to be an author or a great writer to be a good storyteller, and. Uh, again, I didn't find, you know, and people were saying that, oh, the grammar is atrocious and the, you know, the, the punctuation. punctuation is non-existent in some cases. I didn't notice any of that. I mean, yeah, very, very rarely maybe you notice something, but it, none of it stuck out. But as far as the content of the book... In so many of the stories, I see things that look like clues. Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing that strikes you about the book is as once you get all the way through it, it's like, well, this is not in chronological order. It skips around a little bit. It sure jumps. And most, every, not most, but every single autobiography I've ever read is in... You know, chronological Sequence. order. Mm -hmm. Youngest, you know, child, school, uh, youngster, I mean, right up the age. This one skips back and forth. But I believe that it's because possibly, again, the clues need to be taken in this order. So I think that if people were uh, astute enough, probably in some of these stories are the places where you need to start searching. I mean, because you have a, you got a choice of four states mm -hmm. where you can begin your search. So I think possibly in the beginning is where it tells you where you should be starting. And towards the end, maybe there's something that tells you your logical conclusion. Did you have a favorite chapter? Um, you know what? The, the Ode to Peggy Jean... Uh, is nice. It's very uh, nice. We read that last Sunday. It's uh, it does make you uh, I, I don't know. I might have generated a tear uh, because it is. It's you put yourself in his shoes, and that's what you'll find yourself doing quite a bit is putting yourself in his shoes as you're reading this. And I can see myself coming down with uh, a terrible, life-threatening, possibly life-ending disease. And I know my wife would be right there with me, right? Uh, as I would be for her. Sure. So uh, I think that was pretty good. There was uh, some of the ones. Ah, man, talking about his time in Vietnam, the war chapter. Woo! Yeah, man, those are that's some good stuff. He, he flew so many missions, and that's got to be. I'm pretty sure that's the longest chapter in the book. It is. Um, by with, I mean, nothing comes even close to it. Uh, but absolutely very intriguing. I was, I loved it. I, I really did. Again, I had low hopes when I started out. Uh, I'm sold. Oh, yeah, I mean, as, as was I. Yep. Um, I, I love in that uh, war chapter how he talks about that place he 
continually flew over. The waterfall. Right. Yes, where he stumbled across the French soldier's uh, headstone. Exactly. Overgrown with grass. And and the way he weaves that tale. Yep. It's just, and it's got to mean something. It's got to mean something. There's there's a clue there. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, in addition to the poem, Ronnie, with its clues, do you find it necessary to read the book in order to be a boots-on-the-ground person? Yeah. The whole book, not just the poem? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think you almost have to, out of every chapter, even though they're not particularly numbered, I think out of every, per se, chapter, you have to come up, you have to find a clue. Because right in the book, he says that using the poem and clues from the stories is how you're going to finally solve this thing. Mm -hmm. So if all you have is the poem, which is basically all we had for however long we were talking about it, um, we were, we had no idea. You have no idea if you just have the poem. Mm -hmm. So get the book, read the book, try to make some sense of the stories, try to put the stories into perspective of I need to find a particular starting place for for my search. Okay, so there you have it from Ronnie. If you have any questions, I'm sure that he'd be glad to answer them. You can email him at ronnie at menaresosmart.com. And if you uh, have some insight you'd like to share with him or myself, uh, you feel free to do that. Something else, excuse me, that I wanted to bring up, Ronnie. Yep. Um, we've been asked to participate in a documentary about the life of Forrest Fenn. Right. And um, they contacted us and they said, we'd really like to have you on and uh, we can we can come to you or you can come to us, whatever. Uh, and so I wanted to point out this Instagram page. And I'd like for you to check this out after our show, please. No, you don't need to go there right now. Uh, go to Instagram and do a search for Hunting Fen. I'll spell it out, I guess. H-U-N-T-I-N-G-F-E-N-N. No spaces. Hunting Fen. And if and we think about it, we may even put a link maybe in the I'll gladly. In the I'll, I'll gladly do that. And yep. you can find out more about this project. Uh, Jeff is the person that I've been in contact with who wishes to have us do this. And we're down for it. And I'll tell you why, Ronnie. Ronnie and I will only do quality broadcasts. If you want us on your show and you know, you're know you still shooting from your bathroom in the hallway, we're probably not going to come on. Uh, shows like The Flip Side, that sort of thing, yes, we're very interested. And this project is one of those. I want you to go there. This gentleman, Jeff, has been nominated for Video Editing Awards. Hmm. And they've done a ton, a ton of documentary work. And um, and so we're glad to be a part of that. Once again, you can find out how you can help be a part of this project and make it come true uh, by getting a hold of Jeff and going to Hunting Fen on Instagram. Ronnie, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait. I that know. actually sounds pretty exciting. I, I, You know, at first I said, can you show me some of your work? You forwarded that to me. Yeah. He's, he's put some work in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I even said to him, if I could edit like you. Oh, boy. <laughs> imagine what this show would be like. Yeah. If I had that kind of time. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to get to? Um, I think that's about it, Ronnie, for this episode of Sunday Morning Mass. Yeah. I just want to say that I really, uh, I, I did enjoy the book. I want to read it again. This time, I want to take some notes. Uh, I want to make some observations and see if maybe we can become a little bit more uh, of an expert in the field of the book, at least. Well, I wanted to do that as well, and I, I read it twice. Um, I wanted to do that as well, but we just had the one book, and I didn't want right. to influence you. Right. So I didn't make any comments. So if you want to keep the book for another week, and you get one week, because I want to get it back. Um if you want to, if you want to use it for another week, that's great. And go ahead and write all your notes in there. I'm not going to put anything in the book. I oh, really, okay. I would like to keep the book kind of pristine. Uh, I just, uh, we were talking about baseball cards earlier mm -hmm. and having them autographed. 
I think it would be very, very cool to have an autographed uh, Forrest Fenn, a Forrest Fenn autograph on this book. I, you know, honestly, Ronnie, if I sent that to Mr. Fenn, I know I'm he sure would. He would. I know he would. So, yeah, uh, don't worry. We'll get I'd like to done. do it in person. There's the key. Once again, let me bring this to you, okay? We're we're not making any money off this program, none, and that's because of the the guidelines that YouTube has set forth. We love doing this, and we love that you watch. Mm -hmm. It's become very important to us. But we need to get the equipment we need to go live, and we need to get the money we need to go to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Mr. Finn has agreed that he will meet with us. We are welcome at his home. His words, not mine. And we'd like to be able to fund that trip. Had we known earlier about this PayPal situation, Ronnie, maybe we would be right there at Fenbury, but yep. we're not. Maybe next year. Next year. Okay. Yeah. If someone doesn't find it. Yeah. Right? We'll, we'll put that down on this. Anyway, we want to fund this trip and we need your help. So let me give you the uh, address for our PayPal account once again. It is um, paypal.me slash men are so smart. And any contribution uh, that you can make. In fact, you know what, Ronnie? Before we get out, I'm glad that I thought of this. Thank you to Miller Mixture for sending us uh, a nice chunk of money. And why did that fault there? Also, thanks to Landon Adamson. He was kind enough to send us a donation. And we really do appreciate it. Where's the one for $11? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> let me see. where. There it is right there. From Thomas... Marinock, and he sent us eleven dollars, ten dollars for our trip, and one dollar so I could get a comb for my hair. <laughs> I freaking love that. That's the kind of <laughs> listeners and viewers that we have on this show. That's freaking funny. I don't care who you are. Uh, also, once again, thanks to Ken Blythe, he made a very sizable contribution. We're very happy, and, and please understand this is going right into an account, a savings account. Uh, we've already purchased some of the equipment we need. We're going to make maybe one or two more purchases this week mm -hmm. in an effort to be able to go live very soon. I said two weeks this last week, but it might be a little longer because we don't want to do it wrong like other channels. Right. You know yeah. who you are. You're <laughs> terrible at it. You're terrible. All right. So, um, Salome Gonzalez, thank you. And uh, let's see, any more on here? Nina Goodman, thank you. Herc Perrine, thank you. Richard Cron, thank you. Yes, he's a long-time viewer. He is. We really do appreciate it. Please keep the money rolling in. When we get to the amount we need for uh, the trip to see Mr. Fenn, uh, we'll stop it. Yeah. And we'll stop asking. We'll shut it down. You bet. And that's all we're trying to do. If you can help us, we really would appreciate it. Yep. We hope you've enjoyed Sunday morning Mass. We do this for you every Sunday morning as a rule. Uh, there may be some exceptions, and if they are, we hope you'll understand. Um, Ronnie, uh, our email addresses have been going across the screen. Yep. Be sure and check out our website. It's menaresosmart.com. That should be pretty easy to remember. I've remembered it. You remember what? What are you talking about? Whatever you were saying. I'm not sure. I don't. I wasn't listening. Huh. We should start paying attention to this show. Whatever. You know what? I should stop watching that show when we're doing this show. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> All right, I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next episode of Men Are So Smart. What show? What, what do you mean, what show? What are you talking about? You said what show, didn't you? Whatever. <laughs>
I uh, wanted to mention thank you very much. <sighs> yes. For the lobster gram. Love it was lobster terrific. Gram. All, oh, I know you do. I know you do, Terry. Yes. And also, I wanted to thank my daughter, Marvel Gaze Jr. Thank uh, you, Marvel For, for moderating. Now, if this is your first time watching, um, make sure you watch all the way through the show and give it a thumbs up. Like that. Okay. Yes. Thumbs up. Yes. And see, that way, YouTube likes it when you like us. They really do. And it makes me feel better about myself. So It does. Tell your friends, your family, your neighbors, your business associates, and subscribe and click that bell because when you do that means that we are grow the channel yes we're growing the channel that's terrific <laughs> nicely done all right uh let's see we're gonna do something different tonight people complain that our show is too long so tonight's show will only be five hours okay we do these long shows because we know that people their whole lives are hanging on every word we speak yeah. And tonight, something different. We will... Grow the channel? No, Terry. We'll actually get to talking about the Forest Fen treasure in about our third hour. Oh, good. So uh, good. you'll want to stay tuned for we that. We don't want to rush into anything. All right. Yeah. So tonight, we have emails. We have text messages. We have some voicemails. We have a couple of telegraphs, even. Uh, and we're going to open up the phone lines and you can talk about anything yes, you want. anything. As long as we agree with it. So long as you agree yeah. with us. And that way you'll be... Um, in the know? In the know. Oh, okay, yes. got it, all right. Yes. All right, thank you. Uh, right now, though, I'd like to play this meaningless sound effect. Oh, that makes me laugh. Wow. And now, for this song, for absolutely no reason. to do right now? Uh, grow the channel? No, Terry Scant. No. We got to get to this email I got here. Oh, okay. And it says, it comes to us from Men Are So Smart. I like that show. You know, Terry, those pasty white guys. They are pasty white They guys. are a little bit pasty. They yeah. write, why don't you two get a room? <sighs> Scandalous. Dang. And while you're at it, stop stealing ideas from our show. <laughs> okay. Not a chance. Uh, let's see. Signed, Lou and Ronnie. I like that Ronnie. He's a good guy. Yeah. And girl. Yeah. Uh, first, let me say, as is the title of this episode, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. True. And second, if I could say this, we get that get a room thing a lot. Um, yes. I tell you what. Terry? Yes. I want you to look deep into my eyes. Okay. 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 Now tell me you don't feel something. I don't feel something. Maybe we should kiss, you know, like gypsies. I have this sore on my lip. Oh, I don't mind. Uh, it's not going away. I'll take the penicillin. It's penicillin resistant. Nothing. Nothing. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Whoops, broke character. Uh, okay, so that'll do it for this episode. I'm Marvel Gaze. I'm Terry Scant. Yes, you are. And see you next time on Hippie's Lips. Look at my muscles. You're, you got some guns here at a gun show. Sun's out, guns out. Maybe we should get married. Let's end this show. Yeah. Hey, can I come on your new show? Yes. A softer side? No, mine's a harder side. Oh, oh okay, yes. gotcha. All right, bye. Bye.